Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Till now we have completed two important steps. Data pre-processing and building the model. In model building we have tried three different classification algorithms. Logistic regression, random forest classification and XGBoost classifier. And on the basis of performance we have finalized XGBoost classifier. Now in this tutorial we will try to find the best parameters of XGBoost classifier so we can improve the model performance. And to do that we are using randomized search this one. Now note down one more important point here. Hyperparameters are those parameters which are not trained while model training. That's why we are trying to find the best hyperparameters. Now go to sklearn official documentation. Then API, here we have to search for model selection, scroll down, this one model selection and here we have to look for hyperparameter optimizers, hyperparameter optimizers, this one randomized search CV, open this, here you can read the description randomized search on hyperparameters. So this is the class we are going to use to tune the parameters and we are going to import this class from sklearn.model selection. Copy this line from sklearn.model selection and then import randomized search CV. And execute. Let us understand randomized search CV. Instead of randomized search CV, we can use grid search CV as well. Let us understand main difference between grid search and randomized search CV. So in randomized search CV, not all parameter values are tried out. Whereas in grid search CV, all the parameters are tried out. So this is the main difference between grid search and randomized search CV. In grid search CV all the parameter values are tried out and that's why grid search CV takes a long time and that's why we are using randomized search CV. Now scroll down here you can see all the parameters estimator, parameter distribution, number of iterations, scoring, number of jobs and all. Now go to collab notebook, define a variable, parameters, it will be a dictionary. In XGBoost classifier we will tune only 5 hyperparameters. Let us check for the hyperparameters. So these are the all hyperparameters from XGBoost. You can tune more than 5 parameters as well, there is no issue. First parameter is learning rate. Zero point zero five, zero point one, zero point fifteen, zero point twenty, zero point twenty five, and zero point thirty. So we are going to try all these values for the learning rate. The next parameter maximum depth 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12 and 15. So we are trying all these values 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12 and 15. Next parameter minimum child weight 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, 0 0.19, 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 0 0.22, 0 0.23, 0 0.24, 0 0.25, 0 0.26, 0 0.27, 0 0.28, 0 0.29, 0 0.30, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33, 0 0.34, 0 0.35, 0 0.36, 0 0.37, 0 0.38, 0 0.39, 0 0.40, 0 0.41, 0 0.42, 0 0.43, 0 0.44, 0 0.45, 0 0.46, 0 0.47, 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.50, 0 0.51, 0 0.52, 0 0.53, 0 0.54, 0 0.55, 0 0.56, 0 0.57, 0 0.58, 0 0.59, 0 0.60, 0 0.61, 0 0.62, 0 0.63, 0 0.64, 0 0.65, 0 0.66, 0 0.67, 0 0.68, 0 0.69, 0 0.70, 0 0.71, 0 0.72, 0 0.73, 0 0.74, 0 0.75, 0 0.76, 0 0.77, 0 0.78, 0 0.79, 0 0.80, 0 0.81, 0 0.82, 0 0.83, 0 0.84, 0 0.85, 0 0.86, 0 0.87, 0 0.88, 0 0.89, 0 0.90, 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 0 0.93, 0 0.94, 0 0.95, 0 0.96, 0 0.97, 0 0.98, 0 0.99, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, 0 0.19, 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 0 0.22, 0 0.23, 0 0.24, 0 0.25, 0 0.26, 0 0.27, 0 0.28, 0 0.29, 0 0.30, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33, 0 0.34, 0 0.35, 0 0.36, 0 0.37, 0 
then coal sample by tree point three point four point five and point seven so here we are tuning only these five parameters learning rate maximum depth minimum child weight gamma and coal sample by tree you can see here in xgboost classifier all these parameters here you can tune more than five parameters as well check the result and do let me know as well now scroll down execute check this variable parameters great so the randomized search algorithm will try all the possible combinations of all these values and it will bring us back the best parameters now define an instance randomized underscore search use this class so here we have to specify estimator this is the first argument estimator is equal to classifier underscore xgb that is for xgboost classifier then the next argument is parameter distributions so here we have to specify all the parameters that is this variable parameters then number of iterations enter 5 after that the number of jobs we will specify minus 1 when we specify number of jobs is equal to minus 1 that means we are using all the processors in parallel let us check for another parameters go to official documentation this one scoring is equal to let us check for the options open this link scroll down for the classification we can use all these scoring values so we will use this one ROC accuracy copy and paste you can try all other values as well try different combinations then CV five this parameter cv cross validation generator or we can say an iterable by default it is none we can specify any number here we are specifying 5 and this parameter determines cross validation splitting strategy and we have to specify one more parameter this one verbose is equal to 3 this parameter controls the verbosity so as of now this is all all other parameters in this randomized search cv we will use as default execute this line now we have to train the model to train the model type randomized search this instance dot use fit method x train and Y train execute it will take a little bit time it's done now scroll down add few cells so here we have successfully trained this model again and this time we are training model to get the best hyper parameters randomized search dot best estimator so these are the best estimators then type again randomized underscore search dot best parameters so these are the best parameters coal sample by tree is equal to 0 0.4 gamma is equal to 0 
learning rate is equal to 0.15, maximum depth is equal to 5 and minimum child weight is equal to 7. Check here. Randomized search CV tried all the combinations of all these parameters and these are the best parameters. Check the best score. Randomized search dot best score. So this is the best score of our model 0 0.86.3 or we can say that 86.3% now train our final model add one more section part 4 final model xg boost classifier add few cells copy previous model Here we will define instance only classifier, not classifier underscore xgb. And here we have to specify all these best parameters. Copy. Here we have all the best parameters as well as all the default parameters. And paste here and execute. Great. Now evaluate the performance of our final model. I'll paste the code here. First we are defining ypred. ypred is equal to classifier.predict and in parentheses x test. Then we are defining these four variables accuracy, precision, recall score and f1 score. And after that we are defining a data frame this one. And in this data frame we are specifying these four parameters. And at the end we are appending all the outputs in the variable results. So execute. Great. So here you can see accuracy of final XG boost 86.30%. Here you can see that after tuning the parameters accuracy is decreased. Here we have to change the order. We are seeing null values. First we have to specify accuracy then f1 score after that precision and then recall so this is the order accuracy f1 precision recall here we have to do the same model then accuracy then f1 accuracy f1 then precision and after that recall so here i will run all the code again till here add any string run time restart and run all so till here all the code cells will be executed. Great. Now delete this cell. As you can see here, these are the best parameters. Now copy. Paste here. Train the model again. Great. So here you can see. Accuracy of final XG boost is increased 86.85% and previously it was 86.45%. So after hyperparameter tuning, the model performance is increased. Let us get the confusion matrix. I'll paste the code here and execute. So this is the confusion matrix. These two that is diagonal values are the correct predictions. 1528 and 209 and these two 196 and 67 are the incorrect predictions. Let us check the cross validation accuracy of our final model. 
add a subsection cross validation paste the code from sklearn dot model selection import cross val score and specify estimator is equal to classifier then x train y train and cv is equal to 10 and after that we are getting mean of all 10 accuracies and mean of the standard deviation now execute great so this is the cross validation accuracy 86.29% and this is the standard deviation 0.88% now note down one more important point you can always improve the model performance more than that and to do that you have to tune the parameters to get the best parameters you have to tune these parameters multiple times let us revise what we have done in this tutorial in this tutorial we are trying to tune the best parameters that is we are trying to get the best parameters for XGBoost classifier so we can improve the model performance first we have imported this class randomized search CV and we are tuning these parameters these five parameters learning rate maximum depth mean child weight gamma and call sample by tree and then we are specifying number of jobs is equal to minus one Scoring is equal to ROC underscore AUC, number of iterations is equal to 5 and CV is equal to 5. You can try with different CV, different iterations, different scoring and here also you can try different parameters more than that or less than that. So you will get different accuracy and after that we have trained the model and these are the best estimators, best parameters and best score. And this is our final model XGBoost classifier. And these are the predictions. This is confusion matrix and at the end we are getting cross validation. So here we got our final classification machine learning model. This one XGBoost classifier. So this tutorial about the hyperparameter tuning ends here. I will see you in the next one. Till then happy learning.